It was an early morning in Manhattan. Royal Sparkles had just opened her bakery for the day, and she was expecting some you know, some customers around close to 8 a.m. Even as some of her assistants actually love to work with her, she has always polite to her to her workers and even customers. Every single pony town knows about her sweets, her bakery. She had owned this bakery for a couple of years now. Around at that time in the morning, one of the first customers was a light blue pony, a unicorn by the name Golden Rose. Golden Rose was actually an oldest friend to Royal Sparkles. They know each other since they were in elementary school. They actually liked each other so much they had so much in common. Golden Rose was actually on her way to her work, but she wanted to buy some cupcakes for her work for her co-workers for lunch. Since Golden Rose worked at a local grocery store not that far from the from the bakery, so she decided to go there that morning to get some cupcakes for her co-workers. So while they were doing there, there was just small talk before the Golden Rose had to go. But they actually made plans to spend time the after work since they had known each other so long time. Even there was something about Royal Sparkles this time. In fact, for a couple of years now, for at least four years, she had a, a crush on her best friend, Golden Rose. But she knew that she would not have an, any chance with her best friend at all. Because Golden Rose actually had been in a relationship with a stallion for about almost two years. And they had even plans of perhaps even get married one day. And even though that Royal Sparkles may not have any a a chance with her best friend, but she was at least happy that her friend had found some pony to be with. Even though, even though Golden Rose had said to her friend that she wished sometimes that she also could find a, a, some stallion to be with, but in fact, Royal Sparkles had always said that she wasn't much into focus of in dating right at the moment. She was just focused on her work and friends at first. Even though Golden Rose had tried to take her uh, take her advice to at least go out, socialize, maybe try to find a date at least. But Royal Sparkles had the same excuse or the same answer every single time. She wasn't ready, since she wasn't really much experienced in dating, but her best friend had considered why not been trying to be, ask around, maybe ask a stallion to socialize, maybe ask him out. After all, they had a lot of stallion friends out there in town, so why not ask some of them out on a date? Even though Royal Sparkle said that she will think about it, but never actually did it. At first, Golden Rose really much thought maybe that she would do it, but eventually allow her to friend to do what she wanted to do. But today, things were actually got to come to change, because this morning when Golden Rose arrived to this, this bakery, bought some cupcakes and they had just their normal short conversation before that she had to go. She was asking her friend if she wanted to meet, spend some time afterwards. And Royal Sparkle said that she would love to. So they would meet at the park just across the street from the bakery at around 4 p.m. when she closed the rest the bakery for the day. So the rest of the day, Royal Sparkles take care of a lot of the customers and even bakes new things. But even that she was always thinking about her best friend. She was really happy that at least her friend found some pony. And in fact, even that she and Golden Rose had sometimes talked about if her Golden Rose boyfriend's gonna ask her to marry her soon, 
they actually sometimes just joking around that maybe her boyfriend is planning to do so shortly. But what they didn't know. Things were eventually to end up in a different way that both had no idea about it. As it went, the day went on, around 4 p.m., Royal Sparkles cl closed the bakery for the day and went to the park to wait for a friend. But as the 4 p.m. came, no sight of her friend, no one anywhere. Even though she knows her friend may have to be in the work over a little bit longer, but she decided to wait maybe 10 minutes, 20 minutes, went on, and she decided since her friend isn't showing up, maybe that she had to do something else and maybe only went home. So, Royal Sparkles decided to just walk home, and since she didn't live that far from the bakery, so she went home and just relaxed and she was about to read uh, one of her favorite Daring Do books that she had for a while, when she heard a knock on the door. She wasn't expecting any visitors or anything, and it wasn't her landlord because she has already paid her rent for the month, but she opened the door and it was Golden Rose. But something was different. She usually always smiles and at when she opens to see her friend there, but this time it was completely opposite. She had no idea what just happened. She saw that she had been crying, and she asked if she could come in. Royal, Royal Sparkle said, no problem, she can come in. They both sat down on the couch and... Royal Sparkles asked if she wanted to have something to drink, maybe some tea, but Golden Rose said she was fine. She didn't have anything, she, since she wasn't going to stay too long though. But then she started crying some more, and now Royal Sparkles was actually getting worried if something had happened. Because she told her that she was at the park around 4pm waiting for her, but she never showed up, and until now. So she was wondering what happened, if she had to work a bit longer, or... But then she asked, did she get fired from work? But Golden Rose said it wasn't nothing like that, she was not fired, but it was something something different. She said while crying, it turned out her boyfriend just broke up with her, and the reason why it's because he simply not wasn't in love with her anymore. He just didn't like it. He didn't have the same feelings for her anymore. And after all, they have been together for two years. And Royal Sparkles was like, What? He just broke up with you? Why? And Golden Rose says simply that says, she, He doesn't even love any, her anymore. And that was shocking. And it turns out, just around the time, it turns out her ex-boyfriend had fallen in love with some pony else, not a mare. He, Golden Rose was devastated, because it turns out that Golden Rose was actually, was about to leave, had just left the store, the grocery store, and she saw her boyfriend was actually waiting outside. Unusual because he doesn't usually usually don't normally do that. But it happens from time to time he did. They sometimes either went to a small small diner or to his apartment. But this time he had this bad news. And she took it very hard. And that was the reason after that they had some short conversation. Rather than going to the park to wait to see her friend, she just walked home and stayed there for a little bit while before coming down before going over to her friend to who to Royal Sparkles apartment instead. Royal Sparkles told her friend she was sorry to hear this. She didn't even expect anything like this. In fact, she was expecting maybe her boyfriend should would eventually any day now to ask her out of the poor 
to marriage, to propose to her. But he never even had any plans to do so, apparently. And he just told her that he was in long, longer, no longer in love with her and just had fallen in love with some pony elves and they were over. Rodolio Sparkles told her friend that if she needs to come to, if she wants to have any time to spend for a friend, that she is always to stay with her overnight. Golden Rose thanked for the offer, but she decided to just go home. And in fact, she did. She usually also tells Golden Royal Sparkles almost anything. But the next day, when Royal Sparkles went to the bakery, she was expecting to see Golden Rose. After all, she always stops by the bakery every single morning. Even if she doesn't, doesn't buy anything, but they just always had a small, a short conversation. But this morning, she didn't. But it wasn't unusual. It happens when the Golden Rolls were either sick, then, then she didn't show up, or she had a day off, but, but it wasn't un, un, unusual. But as, a, as a several days passed, still no sight of her. She didn't have seen her anywhere in town, in fact. She even went to her group to do her work, asked her if they had seen Golden Rose since, but her boss apparently told her that Golden Rose had taken some time off from work for a couple of days because of the recent event. And she understood, and so she decided to go to see her friend at her apartment. And Golden Rose at first said to her that she didn't want to have any pony over. But even though Royal Sparkles agreed to look at least telling her that if she wants to talk, she knows where to find her. So for the next couple of days after that, they didn't see each other at all. But after a while, Royal Sparkles actually got worried. So she went back to Golden Rose's apartment, knocked on the door, but no, no words. She knocked again, and Golden Rose opened the door and just let her in without saying anything. At first, Royal Sparkles actually was even worried. The spy senior her friend was okay, but she hadn't even heard or seen her friend in a few more days after the first meeting. She was just asking her, how much she was been doing lately? It turns out that Golden Rose were still heartbroken after the breakup, but could any pony blame her after all being together for two years and and her boyfriend just left her in that manner? When they were just sitting down talking, Royal Sparkles asked her what she was going to do now. Golden Rose said that she probably will try to go to work and try to focus on that instead for anything else. So, after that, Golden Rose actually went back to work as normal. But she still didn't pass by, stop, stop by at the bakery almost every morning though. Not anymore. It happens maybe once or twice a week now, but at least her friend was okay and that she was on the work. But after about a couple, after about a week or so, she actually came back to the store, the bakery, every day. But seems to be at least a little bit happier. So Golden Rose said that she felt happy to have her friend, her best friend, there to be, in, to be as emotional support anytime that she needed. And they decided to meet at the park around the same time as usual. And they hadn't even seen each other at the park for, uh, hadn't met at the park for some time now. So, Royal Sparkles was actually quite surprised when she did show up. But today, Royal Sparkles had something else in mind. She had decided to reveal to her best friend, her oldest friend, that she was in love with her. Even despite knowing that her friend may not even like mares in the same way back. 
even if she knows this might jeopardize their friendship. After being friends for such a long time, they wouldn't even know. She had no idea if this friendship could be over. She still had an option that opportunity by saying, I'm not going to tell her all. She had just been through a serious breakout. And is it worth to be telling her, my best friend, my oldest friend, my true feelings? So, but as she saw her best friend walking up to her, she decided maybe not was the worth of telling her. But as he was sitting down, at first, Golden Rose didn't say much. But she said that she had to tell her something. And, and she, Royal Sparkles did ask what it is she wants to tell. It turns out that Golden Rose actually had found some pony new. Or at least that she had a crush on some pony. And that hurt even deep. She was actually was considering to telling her best friend about this, but then after hearing this, she decided maybe not to even do so. But then, Royal Sparkles curiously asked who it was. If it was some pony that she knew, and it turned out that she knew this pony, and. Royal Sparkle asked, Who? At first, Golden Rose blushed a lot, and she was silent. It, it felt like an eternity, but only for like a few seconds. And she said, It's you. Royal Sparkle stood, sat there, stunned, taken up back. She wasn't even expecting that her oldest friend just, just sit there right there, just sitting there next to her, and just openly admit it. She had, and she was in love with her. This was something she didn't even expect it to happen. But she asked her if she was serious, because she didn't want to like this as a joke. But Golden Rose admitted she wasn't lying. This was the truth. And it turns out, ever since her breakup, ever since that Royal Sparkles has always been there for every single time, despite that Golden Rose really wanted to talk to her when she was doing her at the steepest, darkest moment after the breakup. But since Royal Sparkles has been there, she was a light in her life afterwards. She pulled her out from the darkness and bring her back into light and laughter. It was then, after his own consideration, when she realized she was in love with her best friend. And she even said then to, to Royal Sparkles that she wasn't even sure how to, to react to this. If she was even going to tell her only best friend all about this. But she eventually did. But she said that she probably would not like her the same way back. She understood. But Golden Rose, <laughs> she even had a time to finish. She had no time to finish the sentence before <laughs> Royal Sparkle just laying, laying forward and kissed her. Golden Rose had her eyes big as saucers. Look at her friend and after the kiss, Royal Sparkles admitted that she had been in love with her for at least a few years. And the reason why she hasn't been telling her because is she was already in a relationship and she didn't want to jeopardize, jeopardize at the time. But if she had any idea that her boyfriend was going to do so, she still wouldn't even have revealed her feelings for her best friend. By revealing those feelings for her at the darkest moment after just the breakup, 
it wasn't the right moment. She wanted to wait until this. She felt it was right, and now she did have told her friend that she were in love with her. And she did tell Golden Rose that she was willing to give them a chance to see if this can actually work. If not. They can just always go back to be friends, even if it will be awkward afterwards. But she is willing to take that risk, and Golden Rose agreed. So they actually decide to go on the date the next day, and it seems to be working. After all, after about their fifth date, they made it official. They became as an official couple. They even admit to some close friends and even their families, even expecting their families not to be supportive. But they were, even though they were taken aback to see their own daughter dating their best friend. But was happy though. After about a couple, after about maybe it's two years, I've been dating. They were actually still happy, and in fact. They had both moved out from their own apartments and moved in to a, to their own together in a little bit bigger. But eventually, after what you've been together for two years, Royal Sparkles actually proposed to her, her own best friend and to be future wife, which said yes. But. Just about a couple of weeks before the wedding itself was going to happen, Golden Rose was just out for a walk by herself when she ran into some pony that she didn't expect. It There was her actually her ex-boyfriend. Even though they didn't live in a bad terms, they just it happened they did run into each other a couple of times before. She and Royal Sparkles end up being together, and it turns out he was actually aware they had been together for some time, but he wasn't aware that they'd been engaged. He he asked her if they could talk, and she agreed. So they went to this small cafe nearby. He wanted to apologize to her after what he did to her two years earlier. He felt devastated sometimes afterwards. He, he admitted that he couldn't stop thinking about her, and and it turns out that relationship that he ended up afterwards didn't even last long. But he was actually at least happy to admit what he what what he did was wrong. And even though he knows she's already been with some pony else, and that he said there's. I know there's no way for us to be back to get go get back together. I know you're really happy with Royal Sparkles, and I even heard that you even got engaged, which which is I'm happy for. But he was at least asking if there was still a possibility that they could still be friends, and she agreed to do so. Even it might have been a little bit awkward at some point at first, but. They had no idea since they didn't live in a bad any bad terms at all, so both actually agreed to at least be friends. And on the wedding, they did actually invite her ex boyfriend, even as some of her friends, families, and both families and friends actually asked them, "Why did you even invite your ex boyfriend to the wedding? Isn't that too strange?" or Royal Sparkle's mother had asked her, "What, why Golden Rose had asked her had invited her ex-boyfriend to their not her her own to their wedding?" She thought maybe it was a bad idea, but Royal Sparkle's had informed her family that Golden Rose and her ex-boyfriend are still friends in a good terms, and she didn't mind that. Because they had known each other for several years himself, long before they even became, even they were start dating, and she didn't want to see and be responsible for a long term friendship to end. So, but he, she did admit her parents that, or his, some of her friends that, she were a little bit suspicious if something would happen, 
but it didn't. Because around the time of the wedding, Golden Rose's ex-boyfriend actually had found another girl that another other mayor had been dating. It seems Pistol is working though. Even though that they were a little bit suspicious at first, but it turns out to be working for them. And even after the wedding itself, both Royal Sparkles and Golden Rose actually went to Las Pegasus for a honeymoon for about a week. And both had a great time with enjoying the rise, as on a magical show's performance, and just having an amazing time. And both were just actually happy it had entered a new chapter in their lives together. After about two years of being married, both Royal Sparkles and Golden Rose had talked about starting a family. So they went to this local um, adoption agency in town to see if it was possible for them to adopt maybe a daughter or a son from this orphanage from the agency they even needed some time to be approved first but after about a couple of weeks they got the message they were approved since both of them had a good solid income solid home stable home stable income to family to support and even had stable and close family nearby if they needed any extra help and that's a problem there was no problem with that so they were allowed to adopt a daughter and both could not be happier. They adopted a, a filly but by, by the name Shimmer Muffins. Shimmer Muffins was very shy around to her new parents, especially two mothers. And she was actually quite shy around them and both Royal Sparkles and Golden Rose actually totally understand why the daughters were around and so, so shy. But after a while though, Shimmer Muffins slowly started to open up more and more to her parents. And eventually, she discovered how much she loved the baking with her mother, Royal Sparkles. And in fact, she loved to bake. And she admits one day to her parents that especially to Royal Sparkles, that she used to bake a lot with her mom before she passed away. And that was their most, most lovable memory she had with her. And she had told her mom that one day she wanted to open or at least work at the bakery and make her happy. And since her mom was such a great baker, and that made Royal Sparkles tears for light. Hearing the story about what happened to Shimmer Muffin's mother. She was only like five years old when she lost her mother in a in a disease, in an illness. She had been an or been happy in part of the agency for at least another until she was ten years old when she was adopted by both Royal Sparkles and Golden Rose. They had no idea what she went through. So she had been in the system for five years without even being in foster care or even would even had any pony adopted her. She was really expecting that she no would never never be adopted. But now when she has two mothers who loved her so much so deeply, she started to regret how she treated them in, in the first when she didn't avoid them as much. But both her mom said they totally understand why she avoided them as much or she was too shy around them. They would have felt the same if they were in her in her position. And that made her love her parents even more. But they told her, no matter what, they would never be replacing her own mother at all. She will always be in her heart and her memories. She was happy to hear that, but she was always happy to make memories with new, with her new moms. When she was a bit older, she actually started helping around at the bakery with her mom, and 
Even she did telling her mom that some of the recipes that her old mom used to be teaching her and ask if possible selling them in the bakery. And her mom actually did read the recipe first and she agreed. And the best idea she did because because one day when she came home, her mom had a big surprise. She admit telling her that she had baked a little dozen of her the recipe of the cupcakes that her mom, that Shimmer Schmuffin's birth mom did. And those were sold immediately. That made her laugh, and smile and cry realized at least one part of her mom's legacy would always be there. When she was older, she actually took over the bakery from her mom when she, re she, re when she retired. Even though her mom sometimes stepped in to help if there was short staff or that, but she was happy though. And eventually, one day, Shimmer Muffins actually fell in love with a stallion and they actually got married afterwards about four years been dating and they later had two daughters together the bond between royal sparkles and golden rose is unbreakable even after all this time royal sparkles was quite happy that she realized that she had love with her best friend even after all this she was just happy that her best friend admitted that she had a crush on her. Even that herself was afraid of even telling her, her own best friend. But she was happy that at least Golden Rose openly admitted she was in love with her own best friend. She had no idea. And especially what the, the, break, the bad breakup Golden Rose went through, she went into darkness, into depression, but Royal Sparkle was there to bring her out from the darkness, depression, and bring her back into joy, light, and happiness. She couldn't be more happier that Royal Sparkle was there for her friend at any time. She was just happy that her friend was there for her at any time. And it was then when she realized Royal Sparkles was the pony she loved the most of all. And she was just happy that she admitted to her friend at the park all those years ago. She couldn't have been happier. And this is how Royal Sparkles and Golden Rose, when a true love, got a family together. The end.